Hello everyone. Um, I have been thinking about this experiment for a long time now, but I got sidetracked and um, tried to do the um, reproduction rate experimental uh, bin. So, but now while I'm letting those uh, bins dry up, I already have one prepared a week ago. And I checked up on this and I already see mold. So there is microbial action going on in this bins. But I did add, um, but I did add um, two cups of uh, peat moss, garden compost, um, a cup more of uh, moist uh, paper. And the difference between this and the other experiment is that I didn't really uh, gone over the top in terms of the grit. I just put like a tablespoon of each. So would that make a difference? I don't know. And similar to the experimental bins earlier, I did not wash the bins. I never did. Or maybe I did in some. So I guess... Um, I will soon find out if washing the bins are a must. Alright, so what I'm going to do now um, is introduce the worms. Okay, this is a tablespoon of my worm mix, which is uh, which consists of corn, oatmeal, uh, eggshells, oyster shells, um, I think that's it. Alright. I've been, um, I have a, a compost tea made of uh, fish fertilizer, organic. Okay, I'm wetting it because it's dry. Okay. Okay, for this bin, I am going to use a tablespoon of lime. I am, I am wetting it again because I forgot to, to include the lime before I wetted it. So, I will then add a handful of dry bedding or maybe I should have not done that I don't know anyway and <laughs> cover it with the exit with the with other bedding okay and I'm just gonna combine this to make it a little bit more aerated the rest of the bedding Okay, let me prepare the other bin and after that I'll get the red wiggies. This other bin is going to get azomite, but let me put the warm mix first. A tablespoon and a tablespoon of azomite. I am gonna wet that. cover it up with the other or the rest of the bedding oh by the way I am using a five gallon um, Home Depot brand um, plastic tote bin it's cheaper than the Husky this Home Depot bin um, cost cost me about 300 not 300 397 a piece while the Husky bins um, are uh, $5.97 a piece. The downside for this uh, cheaper bin is that it's a little bit more brittle, the plastic that is. So the Husky bins are more durable, similar to the Rubbermaid Roughneck, but I, they're not readily available anymore. The Roughnecks. I, 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 
I um, prefer them. Okay, let me get uh, eight red wigglers. Okay, these are the four worms. Let me take a picture of them. The swarms are going to go into the azomite bin. Okay, on to the other bin. Alright, these are the other four adult red wigglers. There they go. So, I will come back. Well, I'll, I will come back and record after a week. If they're ready for solids, I'll uh, feed them solids instead of powder mix. And then, um, hopefully, everything will be okay. And hope you guys can join me to this uh, episode or episode. Thank you.